Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and in this video we have our first look at the new upcoming Bratz Tweevils 2 pack and oh my god, they look so good. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> so this is all thanks to at Doll Obsession 2023 for sharing the, the first look, I guess, of these girls. So they posted this on their story that they got them um, so out of box. So they're not new in box, so obviously they might come with other stuff and they might also come with like more pieces and they might look different this is just like the, a very early first look at these dolls um once again i don't know how they got these dolls but they did and uh they also supposed to come with a poster isn't that fun a little poster to commemorate commemorate the first ever release of the brats tweevils in doll form yes please i cannot wait to see what that's gonna look like and um they're also supposed to come with brushes, uh, stands, and then a second outfit, perhaps. And the price is $49.99. And they're not collector dolls. Remember, they're not collector. They're just normal. This is the normal two-pack that Bratz finally made of the Tweevils. I don't know why now, but like, finally now. Uh, better, better, uh, better now than never, right? So it's like, finally, we are here. And uh, by the way... I'm not going to show the pictures here just because I don't want to get them taken down. I don't want to give MJ any reason to, you know, take down my videos. So the, will, the link will be down below as always with these kinds of leaks. Um, but yeah, they look so good. Now, I'm not kidding. But when I tell you they literally look the same way that they look in the show, I'm not even lying. Everything is an exact copy. It's almost insane how a one-to-one -one, uh, resemblance they have from the makeup to the outfits to the hair and the face up. It just, it all looks exactly like this little picture here of them in the show. I'm not, I'm not kidding, girl. Like I'm, even the eyebrow color is not off. It's like literally the same. <laughs> like actually, yeah, I, I, cause at first I thought like, oh my God, their eyebrows are so dark. But then I saw that picture from them in the show and I was like, oh, they always had dark eyebrows, so even that is accurate. <laughs> but honestly, it's insane the level of accuracy that they have achieved with these dolls. They almost look like knockoffs. Like, I'm going to be real with y'all. When I first saw the pictures, I was like, that looks, that looks too good. Like, that almost doesn't look like really brats. Like, that looks fake. It just looks so good. It's fake. Like, it's so accurate to a point like animation wise also like the face up and with the expressions um that it almost looks fake but it's not it's real and i'm just it's it's literally like they just jumped out of the screen and they're just doll versions now um i think the only thing is maybe that the hair is a little more blonde like in the show it's more like a, a natural like blonde but here it's more closer to like a very bright uh yellow a yellow blonde or maybe that's just a filter but uh yeah, it does look a little more yellowish. But in any case, again, they look so accurate to the show and the design and the face up and the hair and the outfit is just insane. I am shook. This is uh, out of this world, honestly. Okay, so the outfits. The outfits are, because they're so accurate to the on-screen outfits, they are very simple. They're fairly simple. It's just one piece. Uh, it's just a short dress that has it's in pink hot pink and then it has the white buttons on the top uh, at the beginning of each sleeve and then it just has a little um white trim at the bottom and that's that's really all there is to the outfits it is very plain but like i mentioned they might come with a second outfit or a jacket or a second um you know outfit piece like a jacket or a completely second outfit i don't know but they are supposed to come with more items and so that will definitely spice uh this set up and i also do hope that maybe they will come with a purse maybe because i feel like a purse would be perfect um for for each of them would be really nice and uh, maybe not probably not but um we can we can dream and uh then the other thing is the shoes so the shoes they only come with one shoe so that the pair of shoes that we see here on the picture is the only pair they're going to come with uh but it's pretty again pretty accurate it's like the uh big wedgie platform and it's in pink obviously and it's uh, a similar mold that i've already seen 
Uh, I believe the first wave Sasha came with the same mold of shoes, but it was in gold, right? So I think it's the same mold or a very similar mold. It's very chunky. It's a very chunky wedge. Um, and I love it. It's really cute. And the stands are also in pink. I'm loving these stands in their uh, unique color. And then the other thing that's interesting is the body. So at first I was like, that looks different and that's also kind of why i thought it was fake because this kind of body is usually the type of body that people use on on brats dolls that people use for photos and that brats themselves use for photos and stuff because it's just more poseable and then there's like full-on articulation with the wrist and stuff and it's not the new body articulation where the hands are like flat it this is i believe called the um movie it's, it's something to do with movie it's like um from that series where they had articulation. If you know Bratz, you know what I'm talking about. I did not grow, grow up with Bratz, so I don't know all the series, but I think it's from a series uh, that came out a while ago and they just have the best articulation apparently. And so that's the articulation we see here with the wrist since the hands look um, bigger in scale and they're just, they, they are the same mold like from that line but then the upper um arm still has the kind of detachable middle point that the newer releases have um that have articulation so that's different and uh that looks great honestly i think the fact that they have they brought back a old um you know body mold or like just a hand is different i feel like that makes them also look more accurate i don't know why maybe it's because the older brat dolls just used to if they did have articulation they used to have this this kind of articulation with the wrist and they just they would have this this hand mold and so because these dolls now have the same hand mold they definitely give off more like Bratz nostalgic vibes that the older dolls used to have. And it's kind of insane. And I am honestly loving it. Again, even if I'm not uh, completely familiar with all these different body molds and uh, articulation types, I can tell this is going to hit home for a lot of people who are in love with this type of articulation, this specific articulation with the hands and then the, so everything. So it's just, it's going to, people are now going to be even more in love because they have these specific hands. I'm sure of Now, it. <laughs> while the outfits uh, may not be like really something to write home about, even though they are accurate, um, you know, they're just, they're very basic. Uh, even though the outfits are maybe not the most interesting thing, the face-ups is, I think, where they really shine. So for Casey, she is the one with the band-aid over her nose. She has a very, like, uh, solemn, very pouty expression. She's not smiling or anything. And um, I think she it's, it's a very neutral face. And uh, I love the shape of the lips. It, also, the band-aid. I don't know if it's actually molded on. I don't think it looks like it's molded. It's just probably, like, printed on, the band-aid. Um, so I don't think we have, like, a situation here with Rainbow High, uh, Lila, Lila that she has like the molded on band-aid no i think it's just printed on so but it's iconic i love the band-aid i love the earrings as well they're heart shaped for both of them uh i believe yeah i think so and then um she had they both have their hair up in a bun and for casey obviously she has a little bow at the very top and it's very cute and then uh the two side parts at the front are very gelled it seems but i mean it's again it's it's just it's completely accurate to the hair cell in the show and um again her expression is very uh basic it's it's like very neutral and i love it i think it's very good because again they capture they capture the characteristics of the actual characters from the show i mean the lips are specifically shaped to look like them in the show they're more wide and they're not as like defined they don't have like a heart shaped uh, Cupid's bow like they they're very specifically shaped like they are in the show very uniquely shaped and then the makeup is, it, the makeup is very basic as well just some uh, blue eyeshadow and uh, some minimal lashes now um Kirsty is where it gets interesting now she has a little expression going on she has a little smirk i am in love with this smirk the expression and she's also showing some teeth so she she's smiling like smirking to one side so it's higher up and then she also has yeah she's showing her teeth and it's i just love how unique they made each doll each character because of course also in that photo from the show that's up on screen right now uh kirsty is also the one who's kind of smirking so they captured it it's like kirsty's always smirking i haven't watched the show i'm so sorry but i'm sure they have 
like um, individual personalities. Uh, and that's why Kirsty's smiling and smirking, and Casey's just kind of like pouting because she's always like uh, hurting her nose, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But um, again, I just love how accurate the expressions are, also translated from the show counterparts, and then the, uh, the expression with the eyebrows iconic. I love the eyebrow, one eyebrow being higher, the other one being lower. And uh, it even uh, impacts the uh, makeup. It looks, it, it's hard to describe here without showing, but if you've seen a picture, you know that when for the lower eyebrow, uh, it kind of uh, it kind of makes it look like because you know when you lower your eyebrow, um, it takes away some of the eyelid space, and so you see less of the eyelid space. And because she's wearing makeup, it kind of indents the eyeshadow. It's weird, but it it just it makes it more realistic. Basically, is what I'm saying. It just makes it feel more realistic, and it's just perfectly captured. And um, she is wearing her little crown that surprisingly is made out of uh, fabric and is going it, it goes all around her bun so it kind of reminds me of oh my god what's his name the 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 guy from riverdale uh jughead he has a hat a beanie on that has a similar pattern of a crown going around and this kind of reminds me of that it's just it goes all the way around the bun and then in the front she has some pearls attached which is really cute and uh yeah it's very simple i i, I honestly thought they would have just made it plastic like a plastic piece but no it's like actually fabric and um the eyes are blue and um again i mean it's it's fundamentally very basic designs but they're just so well executed I, I can't I can't control myself. It's just I like I just want to talk about them for ages. <laughs> I want to have them. Like I feel like I need them right now. They're so beautiful, and um, they're just perfectly executed. This is I think the best Bratz release we've had so far. And it's weird because um, again we've never gotten Tweebles dolls, and now that we have, they just right out of the ballpark, just perfect. You know, just perfect tens all, all across the board. I never thought this would be. They would have done it they would have done a such a good job like they did but they did and it's i'm i don't know it's just like what are, how is this real these are dolls that are going to get sold in a couple months and uh for 49.99 uh, remember so yeah and again they might come with more stuff uh just here uh in the pictures we can see that they come with they, they stand the base stand but nothing else so i think they're supposed to come with brushes a second outfit and a poster and that's it and i do hope that maybe some other outfit pieces may include like some gloves that we saw in the new um 3d rendering of the tweevils right from the brad's instagram account they have a really nice outfit on with like little cocktail dresses and they have these like little sand gloves on that they, they're so nice and i really hope that the second outfit is maybe something more of a modern take on their on their outfits from the show so maybe it's gonna look more like what we saw again from the 3d rendering from the brat's instagram account i don't know i feel like that what that would be a really good choice to make the second outfit of because otherwise it would have to be something completely original uh because in the show they never changed outfits you know the tweevils always had one outfit and that's just kind of what they always wore so I'm kind of interested to see what they're going to do for the second outfit or like these separate, you know, pieces. Uh, but overall, I am blown away and everyone is blown away, by the way. Everyone is loving these dolls. The reception has been awesome so far. And honestly, I have no qualms with these dolls whatsoever. They're perfect. I think they're perfect. They're completely perfect. And I just hope they come with like a decent amount of stuff and uh, it's cute. And the packaging. Oh my god. I hope the packaging is slaying. I cannot wait to see the final result. Y'all, I cannot wait. I, I'm, 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 I can't. That was the video. I'm sorry. I kind of just rambled. Let me know what you think of these uh, first looks of the Tweevils down below. And I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, leave a like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already. So you don't miss out when I post more content like this. Coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the dolty you love. Stay safe. Be kind. I hope to see you next time. Stay peachy. Kisses.